right, so the first thing is we'll unclip the two carabiners that take the weight in a steady state. Now we'll take a minute and pop the freedom panels off. All right, so the freedom panels are off. Back doors, are, back windows open. Two doors are open. Now we can lower this down. Sounds extra loud when I'm putting it in there because I don't have my carpet in right now. So the carabiner is dropping on the tub, but that's why. Alright, I have a bad habit of catching this on my fire extinguisher. You can see it's tipping to the back a little bit. We can take the window and close it. There we go. Now it'll level it out. All right, so now we're all the way up to the top. And we just clip those two in. One on that side and one on the other. Now that the carabiners are clipped in, we can uh, release the hoist. There we go. So now none of the weights are on the hoist. It's all held up by the two carabiners, the climbing slings, and then the two struts going uh, across five two by fours this way. So super strong. And that's it. I started at 320. It's now 328. So. Less than eight minutes, it's pretty good. All right, so at its core, it's uh, this trapezoid-like shape. So it's somewhat of an H, but this distance down here from point to point is less than the distance up here from point to point, and that's due to the shape of the Jeep. Um, so when you're lifting the hard top, you have one, two, three and four attachment points. Uh, if you're lifting something else, like an elk, uh, you would just attach it right over the main bar right there. One, two, uh, using some of these climbing slings. Throw those over it, come down, and you can carabiner behind the Achilles or something like that, and hang your animal or whatever else uh, you wanna hang there. So that's its basic shape. All right, so here it is with the hard top on it. Uh, you can see the view from up here. So, uh, in terms of components, there's a few key things. 90% of this was purchased from Home Depot. Uh, the climbing slings are from REI, They're like five to 10 bucks a pop. And then the uh, hoist was from Harbor Freight. So this right here is the fundamental unit that holds all this together. So there are these two parts. Uh, which come pre-drilled with holes on left and right. And you have to drill the hole in the middle. Those are in the electrical department at Home Depot. Um, all the hardware, this is all 3 8 inch hardware. Those are 3 inch long bolts. 
Um, the only thing that isn't from Home Depot up here is that guy, which is this big beefy eyelet that's actually made for lifting, rated to around 1,200 pounds, I think. Uh, and those are from McMaster Car. I'll put a part number up for that. Uh, Strut is also from Home Depot, electrical department. This is plumbing department, just a little copper pipe insulation so that nothing scratches the hard top. And then these are the climbing slings from REI. This is a 120 centimeter, and then it wasn't quite long to make it, long enough to make it, so I added another 60 centimeter and tied some knots. Uh, long term, I'll probably put a 30 centimeter on there, see if that's long enough. Uh, and then just some zip ties. So all in all, there are seven of these units, right? If you think of that as one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, down there, and seven. Also inside here, to join these two, that's a half inch bolt uh, and washer and nut up there. So that is what's holding this guy, the cross piece to this guy on both sides. So one important thing is you don't want to leave the weight on the hoist long term. So the hoist just lifts it up on the center eyelet right there. And then once it's up, then you snap in your two carabiners on either side and then click the button and relax the hoist down. So you can see there's no tension on there right now. Uh, so it's not actually holding the weight of it, it's just lifting it up. And then these guys are actually taking the weight of the hard top or whatever you have lifted. Okay, so here's a view for you even higher up. There's your hoist that's mounted. Um, that is running along that strut right there. And then each of the two long-term support points are also on a strut. Uh, those are uh, 10 foot long struts, I believe. And then I just cut them to length right there. So it goes that. So the weight is actually distributed across uh, two struts, right? In its permanent position, not when the hoist is lifting it two struts, and then those struts are distributed across one, two, three, four, five two by fours. And then the two two by fours, where the weight is hanging over, right, I've actually doubled up. You can see that right there. So uh, those two right there and right there, I added, those are two by four by 20 foot, and they span all the way across the garage, all the way over there. One other thing is uh, these rough cut two by fours I have in here. These aren't important to the hoist at all. These are uh, just loose in here right now. Plan is to put some plywood back over top of these so I can once again store some stuff up here, uh, just like that plywood back there. These rough cut ones are nice because you can see they're just taller than those struts, which is nice. So all the plywood will be resting on this, and then I get all this storage area back up here, back again. Hey, just one last quick note. So I ended up swapping out the uh, front climbing sling here for one that's 30 centimeters. So that's a 30 centimeter there with 120 centimeter there for a total of 150 centimeters. And that seems to be about the right length. To get that through. Well, that's it guys. So uh, hit me up if you guys have questions. You can DM me on Instagram at confidence to explore. Put a comment in the section in the YouTube video. Uh, comment on the blog post. However you want to get in touch with me. Happy to answer whatever questions you guys have. Hope that helps.